Brian Freeman from KTGR back here at the Negro League Baseball Museum. Bob and I are now in the Street Hotel, or so, for sort of a, a makeup of a little bit. Um, street Hotel, very popular, not only for baseball players, but for jazz musicians at the time. Talk about how base, the Negro Leagues and the jazz movement in the 1920s really intertwined. Well, they really did, and this depicts the city of the old street hotel. And you can walk into the old street hotel any given day, and you might see city on the next year. Former heavyweight boxing champion Joe Williams, or the fastest man in the world, Jesse Owens, or the great orchestra leader, Lionel Hampton. Hampton loved the monarch. Hampton loved the monarch so much that the late Bumpy Bill would actually put a cap in a monarch uniform and he served as an honorary coach. There's a legendary Nina Horn throwing out the first pitch at an All Star game. Cab Calloway had his own semi truck black baseball team. So did the legendary jazz artist Louis Armstrong. And so, interestingly, all the jazz musicians wanted to be baseball players. All the baseball players <laughs> wanted to be jazz musicians. So it was only fitting they come together here at 18th and Bible, where you have the best of both of them. There's a similar image today with, with athletic, not just baseball, but all sports and, and the hip hop movement. Do you see a lot of the similarities between the two? I mean, what was the what was the connection that was so special between jazz, specifically jazz, and the Negro Leagues? Well, back then, jazz reigned supreme. It was the music of that era, particularly the African American culture. Um, and so they traveled what we now know to be the old chicken zone. So they were mapping out routes that offered accommodations for them. And so they became a very close knit group. The jazz artists by day would come and watch these guys play. By night, they would go watch the jazz artists entertain them. So there was a mutual admiration. But the truth of the matter is, they had changed that much. You know, the, uh, the, all the actors want to entertain in some ways they call the They want to be a part of a band. They want to rap or whatever it might be. And the same thing, those athletes were playing. You know, so it's always been a mutual admiration. Coming up next, we'll take a quick look at uh, some of the Negro League players who are now in the Hall of Fame. We'll move over there. We're live at the 